my closet. This may look like just an ordinary closet to you. It's actually part of my basement or even my whole house that I'm very happy with. I think it looks cool. I think the mirror looks cool. But what you don't see is the inside. We have cords hanging from the ceilings and things that are not necessarily organized. The whole bottom of this closet is just random stuff that I've thrown in here since moving in. My belts and scarves are a hot mess. Mad dust bunnies, like the most dust bunnies ever. And overall, it just gives me a lot of stress in the morning. And the fact that there's usually a spider hanging out in this specific corner and it runs underneath the closet door makes me want to um, puke, but also create a design that is easily cleanable. No nooks and crannies in here. I'm really curious to hear from you guys what your closet situation is like right now. Like, how do you organize your stuff? And do you like to keep it clean or does it honestly usually get pretty messy? We need to get into planning. You need to try subscribing if you haven't already because we would love to see you here more often for more DIY and design videos. Yes, I did just get blood work done. Anyways. Should we figure out what we need in this closet in order to make it work? Let's, let's go. Okay, this is my plan for the closet. Overall, I need to make sure that anything hanging is color coordinated. This is how I like to stay organized. On the bottom half of the right hand side, I'm actually going to build a cross piece and then add another bar underneath my top bar so that I can hang up my shorter shorts and skirts and even pants folded over. I have some hack ideas for scarf and belt storage, so that's gonna happen somewhere in the closet. And on the bottom left hand side, although it doesn't look like I have a lot of shoes here, I'm actually overflowing with my shoes upstairs. So I really wanna bring down some of my seasonal shoes or things like these heels where I don't wear them all the time. And I'm gonna build a nice little shelf that just sits in here that can easily be opened up if I need to grab some shoes. And then of course everything just needs a nice new fold cause it's looking really messy in here. But step one is to get this whole closet cleared out. Do you know what this is? Do you know what this is? Black Swan Halloween costume. This costume right here, 10 years old. Like, what do you do with that? Like, I can't throw it out. The Sorry Girls needs to store that for me. I don't have room here. Maybe I'll take these out later. You may have noticed that I have a bunch of cords up here. <laughs> And that's because I stole these from my PAX wardrobe IKEA system um, that I had at the loft. I don't know, there's probably a wireless slash better solution, but I was like, I already have these, so let me just use them. But they come with all these cords that I need to now manage. And then on this side here, um, I knew that there was a plug in here in the closet. And on the other side of this wall, is my bedroom where I wanted to put a little corner shelf projector and I didn't want to have cords hanging down. But I just drilled a really messy hole through the wall so that I could feed the projector cords through and then plug them in right here. and not completely staged at all, delivery. <laughs> Today's sponsor is Blueland and I am over the moon ecstatic to try out these products because I have been wanting to for so long. This has been on my sustainability geek out list. <laughs> With Blueland, you can stop wasting money on cleaning products and start saving, but how do you do that? Well, unlike traditional liquid cleaners that are sold in single use plastics, with Blueland, all you need is a nickel sized tablet. Or if you're in the UK, I'm sure it's not called a nickel, but it's small, trust me. This is how it works. 
So we no longer have to use wasteful plastic bottles and we don't have to throw away money when using those plastic bottles. Instead, we can pay $2 for a tablet or $1.54 per tablet if we buy them in bulk, which if you do the math is basically equivalent to an 8-bit ringtone that you bought in 2006. In short, Blueland is pretty serious about helping us make the environmental and the money conscious choice for the long run. I got the Clean Essentials Kit, which has multi-service cleaner, bathroom cleaner, mirror and glass cleaner, as well as foaming hand soap. <laughs> And instead of buying individual cleaner and hand soap, if you buy the entire kit, you're gonna get 20% off, plus the additional 20% with our code. Click the link in the description down below and use our code SORRYGIRLS to get an extra 20% off. I'm really jazzed about this. <laughs> I'm super jazzed, guys. Super rad stoked about this because I love sustainable options. They're now shipping to the US, to Canada, and the UK. It's super exciting that we're having products like this. It's 2021. I'm glad we don't have to use single-use plastic anymore for our cleaners. Cheers to that. <laughs> okay, with the cleaning done, I know my plan. There are some things I need from the hardware store before I can get started, so let's go do that. steamy one out there but I got supplies that I need I think my first step is going to be mounting this guy in between the closet there so that I can put across my little half rod on the bottom half of the closet to do this I'm using some joist holders they were steel I've already painted them white so they're gonna blend in nicely with the walls I've never used these before but they seem like a great solution <laughs> Hold on, that is, that's wood, we found wood. We dug for the wood, we found it. Yes! Next I'm installing some pieces of wood that are gonna work as ledges for the shelf that I'm gonna put in here that's gonna act as a place to hide some of my shoes. It's my turn. Is Lizzie McGuire singing this song? Is Hilary Duff singing this song? And somebody else? Is this supposed to be her? Because it's not. Boom. What shoes do I want today? I think it looks good. Well, the room is looking like the hottest mess it's been in a long time, but I am loving how things are looking. It looks like a custom built-in closet. I'm just going to paint a couple of those wood pieces and I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. About a week ago, exactly a week ago today, I was standing here trying to pick out what to wear for the day and I just started crying. I think that all the stressors of what's going on in the world as well as in just my personal life came to fruition and when I was having a hard time picking out what to wear, I was just like, I can't do this. I can't go to work today. I don't want to get dressed. Everything just feels too much. And I think it was just trying to pick out clothes that broke the straw, the straw that broke the camel's back. <laughs> but today I'm feeling much better, except for the fact that there's a giant pile of clothes there, but we're gonna put them back in this closet. The closet is gonna look good. I actually already did some cable management last night, so things are looking good up there. Let's get to refilling this closet. Sing 
to me, pal. So as you can see, one of the last things I have are scarves and belts, and I have a hack on how to hang these up. So for the belts, my plan was to use a hanger that I already have and pick up some S-hooks. And while I was shopping online, I actually found this S-hook which has kind of like the bigger scoop and the smaller scoop, and I thought this would be perfect to hang on a hanger and hang my belts off of. In a similar yet slightly different vein, I picked up these shower curtain rings for the scarves. I really like these hooks or these shower curtain rings because if I were to get more or less scarves, it's not like I'm gonna run out of hooks if I were to put them on the inside of my closet. I also think it's just kind of cleaner if it's hanging on a hanger with the rest of everything else instead of cluttering up either the back of the door or the side of the wall on the inside of the closet. And that pretty much wraps up this episode on cleaning up my closet, organizing it, and um, hopefully there will be less tears happening in front of this closet in the near future. Make sure you guys check out the link in the description down below and use our code SORRYGIRLS to get 20% off of your first purchase at Blueland. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.